All right, how's it going everybody? Johnny Nerd out here with another custom e-bike build. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna go over what kind of bike this is and what components I threw on this bike to make it awesome. Apologize about the wind, it's super windy out here. I know you'd think I'm like in the windy city of Oklahoma or something. It's a little geography joke for all you historians out there. So yeah, let's get into this video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I build these bikes professionally. And by build them, I mean convert them. Building these bikes would be very time consuming, but I convert them. I put a motor on them. I, I do this. I've done this for uh, about three years now. Yeah, if you're into stuff like that, I post a lot of videos on uh, a lot of the bikes I build. All right, so let's get into it. So this is the Giant Escape. This is a road bike. This is nice. I like this bike. It's got internally routed cables, which I always love it when bikes do that. It just shows care. like. Whoever designed this bike, they actually spent some time and was like, hey, let's let's put some thought into this. It's becoming more and more common um, as the years go on, but still, whenever I know it, whenever I see it, I always think and I go, thumbs up. And this one has it, it's really nice. So you can see the brake cable is routed through the frame. So is the gear shifter. It's got 700C by 38 tires on it. So this is gonna be really good for commuting. This is gonna be super efficient. This is like ice skating. You're just sliding through, not like a big fat tire bike, which I always say is like driving a pontoon across the pavement. It's just so inefficient. So for the motor, we just put on a BBS 02, 750 watt mid-drive motor, a 48 tooth chain ring. We have the 52 volt by 17 and a half amp hour battery using Samsung 35E cells. For the display, uh, we just went with the basic C961 display. Shows all the all your data on it, but no frills. Uh, and the only other add-on that we put on was the gear shift sensor. It's a mid-drive. You really gotta convince me not to put a gear shift sensor on a mid-drive bike, especially if you're new to riding them. I feel like it's just, it's a no-brainer. Absolutely no brainer. So yeah, this, this bike has rim brakes on it, which are not ideal, but it does brake well. Like they feel nice. Rim brakes are not always a deal breaker. I, I'd like to see disc brakes on it for when it's wet out, but you know, right now I'm in Salt Lake City and it's a desert, so it doesn't rain much. So if you don't plan on riding in the rain, rim brakes are fine. As long as they, as long as they're good. If they're tuned up and they're dialed in, rim brakes are fine. As long as you don't plan on riding in the wet weather. If I had like a cyclone motor on this or a BBS HD or something that was just gonna be like super fast, I might say, Mm, get hydraulic disc brakes. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna put it through a Johnny Nerd Out uh, top speed test. I'm not gonna do a hill climb on this because that would just be silly. So let's just do a top speed test. All right, so that concludes this video. Hope you liked it. Let me know if you had any comments, questions, or if you were concerned at any point in this video, let me know. Thanks guys, thanks for nerding out with me.